What's up, family? I want to welcome you to another episode of PowerCast with PC, and this is episode number 26, and I am so excited about everything that God is doing in your life. Don't forget, go to www.cohines.org backslash prayer and get your prayer requests in as we are always praying for God's best and most importantly, uh, God's blessed for your life. We've been coming from Jeremiah chapter 29 and verse 11, talking about God's plan for your life. And we understand that God's plan for our lives is to prosper us. He wants to take our lives to the next level. And in order for him to do that, we've got to participate. We've got to be in relationship. We've got to be in partnership with him because we understand that everything that God wants to do for us, he must first do it in us. Because God's greatest desire is to move in us as us. Remember what the scriptures say, now unto him who is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we could ask, wish, think, dream, or imagine, however, according to the power that works in us. And so there's some power uh, that needs to be working in and through your life. But not only is his plan to prosper us, but the scripture suggests that his plan also is to give us a hope and to give us a future. And so if it is true that his desire is to work in us, then that means that the future that he desires to give us is really a future that we have the power to give ourselves. I'll say that again, that the future that he desires to give us is really a future that we have the power to give our Selves. And so I want to encourage you and I want you to understand that you have on the inside of you the ability to produce your own future. Why? Because you are a seed. And seeds bring forth fruit after its own kind. And so every seed that produces fruit simply produces a fruit that has more seeds in it. Ever ate an apple, ever ate an orange, grapes, whatever seeds that produce fruit have more seeds in it. The seed that produces the fruit is what you're doing in your now. The fruit that has the seed in it is your future. So the first thing that you've got to do is you got to make sure that you do not waste or eat your future. Sometimes we trip upon, walk up on good seasons and we feel that uh, the good season is somehow an endorsement that we're doing everything right. And the truth of the matter is, is that harvest are really just a product of seeds that we've sown. You can produce a good harvest and not necessarily have the best character. You can produce a, a harvest and not necessarily be the best person. You can produce a good harvest just by doing what you're supposed to do. And if you do what you're supposed to do, you'll produce a harvest. But if you are not who you are supposed to be, if you are not the best version, version of you, then what you'll do is you'll squander the harvest that comes. You'll squander the things that come. You'll squander that season and you'll waste that season of your life. You'll waste that moment of your life. And then when that happens, find yourself right back in the same place over and over again, repeating the same cycles, in some cases, even rehearsing generational curses that were handed down to you. And so the way we break that cycle is we start becoming intentional about everything concerning us because we start treating ourselves with the proper value. Bible says we're fearfully and wonderfully made, made in the image of God and made in the likeness of God. That just simply means that you are of great value and that your value is not determined by your current circumstance, but that your value is determined by the creator who spoke over you. When he spoke over you, he was just simply telling you what he saw. He saw fearfully made. He saw wonderfully made. He saw creative. He saw brilliant. He saw powerful. He, he saw intense. He saw gifted. You, you, you get where I'm going? He saw your future. And the problem that we have is that we don't see what God sees. And because we don't see what God sees, then we've got to rehearse what we say, what he says until we see it. I'll say it again, because we cannot see what God sees, we've got to keep rehearsing what he says until we see it. And so I want to encourage you today. I want you to understand that the race is not given to the swift nor to the strong, that what you're going through is all a part of God's plan, purpose, and provision for your life. Eyes haven't seen Ears haven't heard, nor has it entered into the hearts of men, what God desires for us. 
Simply put, you are amazing and you are on an amazing path and you are on an amazing journey, but you're going to have to make some decisions. You're going to have to tweak some things. Remember, as long as the earth remains, there will be seeds, there will be time, and then there will be a harvest. That just simply means that as long as you are breathing, you will be a seed. And that seed needs to be in the right soil to produce and become the tree that you were uh, created to be. He not only wants to give you a future, but he wants to give you a hope. And the hope is that the seeds that I'm sowing today are producing for me the life that I know that he has created for me. Remember, the thief came, the enemy came, the devil came, Lucifer came to still kill and destroy, but he has come that we may have a life and that we may have that life more abundantly. So I just want to encourage you today that you don't have to ask for a platform. You don't have to ask for an opportunity. All you've got to do is ask to be planted and being planted in the right soil is the difference between you going from here to there. Don't forget, go to www.cohans.org backslash prayer as we are always praying for God's best and blessed for your life. Also, I want you to consider partnering with us. Go to uh, my website and look at the partnership tab and decide what level of partnership that you want to partner with us on. We've got three levels. We've got a uh, soldier, we've got uh, lieutenants, and we've got generals. Remember, like Gideon's army, there are only 300. And when you decide to partner with us, the first thing that you're doing is you're stepping in faith with us saying, you know what? I believe in what you're doing. You are such a blessing to my life. The ministry is a blessing to my life, and I want to help see it go further. I want to see you build that television set, get those cameras, and take this thing to the next level. But the second thing you're going to get is you're going to get unlimited access to uh, my partnership program. I do special teachings just for partners. We've got groups just for partners. We've got meetings just for partners. And when you are a partner, the registrations are free. There's no extra charges. There's no hidden prices and all of that crazy stuff like that. You are just a partner. Just because you partner with me, you're going to get an unprecedented level of access. And I'm just believing that you need to partner with us. And so I want you to pray about it. I want you to go look around and see all those things. And I want you to stay with us. Please, please, please know that we're praying for you. And always remember, live better, love God, serve people. I'll see you next time.